In this video, we are going to continue on with effects in CSS. Now, CSS3 allows you to add shadow to text and to elements. In this video, we are going to learn how to add shadow to the text in our web page. And in the next video, we will learn how to add shadow to our elements using the box shadow property. But again, in this video, we're going to deal with the text shadow property. So you can see here, I just have two simple paragraphs with text and you can see them over here in the browser. And so we're gonna add some shadow to these. And actually we don't really need to see the HTML anymore. So let's just go ahead and close this out and let's just move our style sheet over here. And then let's go ahead and make our browser very, very large. There we go. Okay, and actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's make it a little bit larger so we can see everything nice and easy. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's work against this first paragraph. And of course, we're using an ID selector of text one. So we've got the text pretty large here. We've made it 60 pixels. And let's go ahead and we're gonna now add the text shadow property. So we just use text hyphen shadow. That's all we need to do. And then we're gonna put in three values and I'll explain these in a minute. So we're gonna say three pixels here. We're gonna say three pixels here. And then we're gonna specify the color of the shadow that we want, which is orange. That's what we'll use for now. Now these first two represent the horizontal and vertical aspects of the shadow. So the first one actually is the horizontal part of the shadow and this second one is the vertical part of the shadow. Usually you keep these the same, but you can actually alter them if you want, but usually they are the same. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna make the size three pixels for both. And then of course, the color of the shadow we specify here. And again, that is orange. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see, we've got some shadow now behind our black text. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? But it doesn't stop there. We can actually add a nice blur effect to our shadow. And we do that in this third spot here. So we can specify again, a pixel size for that. And let's make it five pixels. So again, this third spot right here is if you want to add this blur effect to the text shadow. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page and there you can see we've got some blur. Now, if you really wanna increase the size of it, let's actually make this 20 pixels and we'll save this. Let's go ahead and refresh our page and there you can see the blur effect now is much larger. Now, what if you wanna add multiple shadows? Well, you can do that. You can add as many as you want. So uh, actually, before we do that, let's set this back to five pixels. And in order to add another shadow effect, we need to put a comma here. And then let's just go ahead and copy and paste this right below. And we'll just align this up. And now here is where we put the semicolon. So we'll put that right there. So again, we just add a comma if you want to add multiple shadows. Now let's go ahead and change the color and we'll make this blue. And let's make this one a little bit larger. Sometimes you wanna do that if you're adding a second shadow. So we'll set this at six pixels, six pixels. And for the blur, we'll give it 10 pixels. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll refresh our page. And there you can see, we've actually got two shadows. Pretty cool. Now, what if we wanted to add some transparency to our shadow? Well, we can actually do that. So we'll actually do that in this bottom paragraph here. So let me go ahead and copy and paste what I have here so far. And actually, let's uh, realign this a little bit. So all of our CSS fits here. There we go. So again, we're gonna use the text shadow property, but instead, this time, we're gonna use this RGBA function. Remember we used that in the last video? Yes, you will remember it's red, green, blue, and of course, this fourth parameter, of course, is the opacity. That's where we can specify our opacity value. So we're gonna use blue, but then we're gonna add the opacity in. So let's go ahead and use blue, and it is zero, zero, and 255. So we need to put 255 right here. And then let's go ahead and specify what value we want for the opacity. And let's just set that at the halfway mark. And then let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page and there you can see. Let's go ahead and we'll bump it down a little bit. Let's give this, uh, let's set this to 0 0.3. And there you can see it even has more transparency. So that's how you use opacity with the text shadow property. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.